math homework. Is there really a need for it? Does it really exist other than to torture children? During the COVID crisis, we here at the Fort Worth Star-Telegram have delved into the impossible, and that is homeschooling. I am Fort Worth Star-Telegram sports columnist Mac Engel. I'm joined by my daughter, Miss Vivian, who right now we are going to attempt to do fifth grade math homework. Vivian, tell the people what exactly we're going to be doing here today. Frequency tables and dot plots. Frequency table and dot plots. Needless to say, I haven't done this in a long, long time. And an argument can be made, even when I did it, I didn't know what I was doing. So let's give it a shot. You ready? Kate made the following dot plot based on the links of object, objects found on the playground. Which stem and leaf plot matches Kate's dot plot? That's her dot plot. Say that again? That's her dot plot. Links. Okay, so if you can see it there, lengths of objects, 0 0.51, 1 1.52, 2.53, 3.5, and 4. Uh, do you know the answer to this? <laughs> Is that a yes or no? <laughs> yes. Okay, here's something else I hate. And, and I hate math. I want to be real clear about this one. I think this whole thing is a ruse by parents to make their children miserable. Centimeters, lengths. Why are we doing these, like, what, F, H, centimeters, stem and leaf? I know what stems and leaves are. They're on trees outside. They're not on this. All right, go ahead. Um, so there's... Um... So here are our choices right here. We have F, H, G, and J. What's this stupid question? Kate made the, it's not funny. Kate made the following dot based on the lengths of objects found on the playground. Which stem and leaf plot matches Kate dot plot? I don't know. <laughs> what, what else we, do you know the answer? Yeah. You, okay, go ahead. Wow the crowd, go ahead, Viv. Okay, um, so 3.5. Now, how did you get the answer? What do you mean? It, I got it. It's F. It's F? Yeah. How do you know that? Because I know it. I'm smart. Use the dot plot to answer questions six and seven below. We'll just work on number six. So, Coke, go ahead and go down. The four cantaloupes with the greatest masses had a combined mass of how many kilograms? I would just say the biggest ones. <laughs> so the choices are 14.5, 15.7, 14.9, and 15.5. Viv, we got any idea on this one? <laughs> it's not funny. It's serious. Uh, Is your future? 15.5 D, because you add three, uh, 7.50 and A because you multiply both of them times two. Yay. All right, that's what I thought. Okay, good, good, good job, good job. You're doing a good job. I'm proud of you. You can stay around for the night. The farmer sold all of the cantaloupes that had a mass of three kilograms or greater. If he was paid four dollars and fifty cents for each one, how much money was he paid in all? Uh, a lot. Uh, isn't a lot an option? Okay, our choices are, let's see what our choices are real quick here, Viv. Uh, $40.50, $56.50, $60.50, and $63. What's our answer? Now we gotta go back up. We gotta go back up. Okay, go ahead, back up. And we've got uh, the thing. <laughs> numbers. Nine. Carry a six, carry a three. And there we go. What do we got? Uh, 450 times 9. 40, uh -huh. uh, 45 times 9. Dad, take it away. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was getting a thing. I was distracted by work. Oh, we're, we're going to do some... Uh, oh, no. I want to see if I can do this. Let me give it a pencil here. What's the math, honey? Okay. What's the math? Hang on. I got this. All right. Open this. Okay. Go ahead. I'll stop. Okay, what's the math? Uh, 4.50. 4.50. Times 9. Times 9. All right, let's see if I can do this. I don't know. I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. So it's 0. 4, 5. <laughs> can't do it. Uh, I think it's 5. Let's see. How am I doing? No, please disregard the handwriting. Uh, 36. 
Decimal 36. 40. Ah, I got it. I know I got this right. It's F. One of the options is $40.50, which is what I came up with. So that's right. A plus, gave myself a little A plus, smiley face. And it's all good. We've done an outstanding job here. I've had a lot of fun here today learning and spending quality time with my daughter. It's and I'm going to go back. Yet. Yes, it is. <laughs>